Welcome back to Sahara TV. My name is Rudolph Okonkwo. This is the day after day one. Some said the first day for the rest of Nigeria's life. So we're looking at the aftermath, the day after the inauguration of President Muhammadu Buhari. And we are going back to Abuja to speak to a friend of Sahara TV who happened to be at the inauguration and then at the gala night, uh, Dr. Perry Brimer. Dr. Brimer, welcome to Sahara TV. Thank you very much, Rudolph. It's a pleasure, and this is my first time on the show from from, from Nigeria. From Nigeria. From the capital, yes, 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 yes. We are so happy to have you. So tell us, how did you end up in Abuja? We thought you were here with us in New York. What happened? I thought I was going to be there and watching it until just a few days to... First of all, I'm so sorry. Before I do that, I just want to say congratulations to us. Congratulations to Sahara. Congratulations to Nigeria, everybody, on this first day of a new, of a new government. Mm -hmm. So like I was saying, I was here and um, I was in Abuja, I was in New York as, as, as usual, and I didn't even know I would be here. And then somehow, someone from the first um, family was, they said they were looking for actually the dynamic, you know, people who really contributed positively on the social media. And that's how the first lady um, was able to find me. Somebody, somebody um, su suggested my name that, you know, I did some dedicated work to change. And I really appreciate the way, you know, the first lady was able to find, you know, find some of us that way. And that's how they said, you know, if you can buy your tickets and you don't want to turn down this invitation, um, come to Nigeria and attend. And that's how I found myself here. Um, and then I found my way into the gala too. You went to the gala? I did, I, <laughs> I went to the gala also. Wow. Last night. So how did you get in there? I thought you were, uh, <laughs> you, I didn't know you were part of the big, big names in Abuja. How did you get in? I, <laughs> I'm not, uh, I, can't, I can't say I'm part of the big names. Go ahead. Will you know me? Yeah. You know me, I'm, I'm a, um, we are, I represent the masses. And yeah. let me make that clear. I have no special, there is no, nothing. I have no connection, no formal connection with anything. This was just appreciation. This is strictly appreciation for, for our work. And you'll notice these are things the presidents went on to say. They really appreciated the work of the common man in this. Mm. And in fact, I, I feel honored that, you know, at one point they gave me this invitation. I said, come and attend. And then someone said, Dr. Breimer, you, you need to come for the gala. So I'm not going to say I get crashed the gala, but I found myself in the gala too, and that was nice. Wow. So how was it like? What happened there? Where people, um, I mean, where did it take place, and how did it go, the gala? The gala, the gala was, I know, there's one problem which has been happening with the inauguration and the, the whole inauguration process, which is now, I'm not here to start criticizing, but I don't know who organized. There was a problem with a lot of organization from the um, inauguration proper to the gala. There was some little hitches in organization, and you can expect that to happen when, you know, you have a transition period. So there was a little bit of rowdiness here and there at the entrance and stuff, but otherwise it was a very, very beautiful, but kind of, to me, it seemed like a very summer event, because to most of us there, you know, we kept having to really appreciate the reality of what was happening, mm. you know. So to a lot of us, it was like, we're a little bit quiet, and it was not this kind of celebration where you have people really, you know, jubilating. That was on the streets. Mm. But for most of us there, it was, there was a lot of reflection in our, in our, in our faces, really appreciating. You know, you had people, there was this lady beside, beside me, and she said, you know, I have fought for PDT, for, for um, sorry, for Buhari for 16 years. And so, you know, you don't, it's hard to really finally exhibit and express that realization that after 16 years, and for some of us, for 30 years of fighting for change, you know, change has suddenly come. You know, I don't think the reality has dawned on us. And, you know, someone at my table said it, that maybe when we wake up tomorrow, we are, you know, the reality is going to, be dawning on on us mm. so who who and who were people that were at the gala who were they um the, the the president was there the 
president was there, um, the vice president, they were on the high table uh, with their wives. Now, the former president wasn't there, and I asked someone, I said, why isn't the former president, why, why isn't he here? He left the inauguration, like, before it was over, he, he sped out. And I feel, you know, if President Buhari is handing over in 2019 to somebody from his party or the next, I would expect to see him at the dinner. You know, this is a, this is a gracious occasion. Mm. We want to work together to build Nigeria. But he wasn't there. Mm. Atiku Abubakar was on the high table. Um, Obasanja was there. He left a little bit early. But the, the people we were more interested in meeting, as someone I ran to meet and I shook his hand and I was so happy I was Amechi Rotimi Amechi, who I, I personally crown as the hero of, 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 of today. Because before APC, there was Amechi, and Amechi had started that, you know. So I was so happy. I went to him and I said, Augusta, respect, you know, <laughs> congratulations, you know. That was, and there was this lady I was sitting beside, a young lady who, you know, said she was my fan. And she too told me, she was like, the two things she came to get from this dinner, one was meeting me. She said she has achieved 50%. You know, she didn't expect it, but seeing me, she said I'm 50% satisfied. She was on a diet, so she wasn't really eating. She said the second is to meet, that she's going to walk, run to Rotimi Amechi also and just say, you know, just shake his hand. So, so many people really, you know, you know appreciate Roti Amechi, uh, Rotimi Amechi for what he did. Mm. And then the other who and who's were there, like... Um, of APC, like um, Festus Kiamo is another person who I had gone to greet. A lot of these people, I go to greet them, and you know, I appreciate one thing about me, which you would know is, um, you know, the, you know, Machiavelli type individual. So I appreciate people who are revolutionists, who don't stand and, you know, allow things to just happen, who actually move to change. Mm -hmm. So Festus Kiamo was there, and I had greeted him earlier at the. Uh, all these people don't know me because, of course, I'm a nobody, but I just greeted them and I said, congratulations, you know, good work you did there. So I, you know, greeted Festus Kiamo. He was at the inauguration dinner, too, yeah. and stuff. Now, there's a lot of other who's and who's who I don't know. Yeah. You know, these are people I don't know. Just, if I could just interject, at, when we left the inauguration, we went to um, the hotel where most people were lodged, which was the... Um, Sheraton or Hilton or so. Yeah. And there I saw Ngozi Okonjo Iwela now. Wow. I, for, the f for the first time, I saw that she's not really that tall. This was the first time I'm seeing her in person, and she's a small statured lady. And the one thing I could see, I wish I could have taken a picture, and by the time I re recognized who she was, and I said, and I just said, you know, goodbye, Ma, but she was already gone, was she didn't look too happy. And you know, Abdul Salami Abubakar too was at the inauguration dinner, and a lot of people, I don't know, I don't, I, I, I believe people should be happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure a lot of people are really happy, like, like we are, we on the streets are, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very interesting. We've been asking people, did you, um, the people that were there at the, uh, the event, whether they ran into any of the PDP people or any of the presidency people, it's interesting that you ran into Ngozi Konjiwala. And um, so what, what else happened at the, at the gala? What else happened? Did people dance? There was no dancing. Um, there were some performances. There were some performances by... Uh, some artists, including some from Niger Republic. So there were some performances. There was some poetry, which was, was it poetry? There was some, yeah, some performances. Um, a couple of speeches. It was, it was, like I said, it was a mellow occasion to mm. a lot of us. It wasn't really, you know, uh, it, it wasn't electric, mm. you know. Now, I saw a picture a simple, of you. It was a simple location. I saw a picture of you. We were showing that, those pictures of you. Were you with the first family in one of those pictures? Yes, I would have been with the first family. Wow. Throughout, I was with the first family. So anywhere where you saw me, I was, especially it was ladies probably in the picture. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah. It was the first family. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. I took pictures with some other interesting guys, like um, Is Ismail, um, APC Youth Forum. He used to be in the Youth Forum. He gave this dynamic um, speech um, during um, Millennium Goals. Was it, what's the name of that pro program they did? Millennium, it's Millennium yeah, yeah. Um, Youth. Youth Events. Yeah, he gave this 
event. He gave this electric speech, you know, this Benga Gold. I met, I met a lot of dynamic individuals who, because the truth about this event is the elites didn't do this. We did this. Yeah. And it's very important, and I hope that the Buhari government does appreciate and recognize and doesn't make the mistakes that the government before it did. We did this. We should be represented. We should be given power, you know, at least more than half of power. I'm not, I'm not one of the 30% or of not, of nothing people. I'm 60% or nothing because the youth are 60%, 70% of the population, and we are 90% of what really goes down. Mm. So the youth that I met, I met a whole bunch of, you know, dynamic youth, and um, the, that, that was the feeling. That, you know, that was the greatest part of, you know. Mm. Now, now of, one, of day, one, one day after, do we know of any political appointments? Uh, are people, uh, talk, what are people talking about, appointments? And who, who are the people that will be in this government? To be frank, you know, even through the friends I have, it's quiet. It's this. I think it's still quiet. Maybe from now we'll start hearing, but I haven't heard any. Maybe I'm not connected that way, mm. but I haven't heard any anything about appointments. I've seen some disappointments, but not appointments. Yeah, <laughs> but I have seen some disappointments. Okay. So now, um, so the the nature of uh, the mood of the country was electric yesterday. How is it today? Are people still optimistic? Are they? Are they, what are they expecting in the next few days? You need to see the party on the streets yesterday. And that's the thing. Like, I heard that um, at um, the governor swearing in in Kaduna, inside, you know, you have... It's, it's different inside and outside. This was a victory for Buhari on the top and for the masses at the bottom. Mm. Within the elite, they are confused. Mm. You know, it's, it's a whole new thing. For instance, like, when I, was, when I was coming over, I said, OK, since I'm being invited officially, are you going to pay for my ticket? And they said, we are sorry. You know, try and find your way here, because we are not just releasing money, you know, general, or the president is not just releasing money like that. So, you know, so on, within the elite, their joy is measured and tapered. But on the streets, they were wild. Mm. The minute he was sworn in, the crowd started rushing, and I'm sure you guys captured that, because, you know, I saw um, Shawaree at the event, so I know you guys captured that. The minute he was sworn in, people rushed and passed all the barricades. No barricade could stop them. They rushed all right, you know, around Eagle Square. And on the streets, my friends on the streets, took recordings of the jubilation. You need to see the way everybody, north, south, east, west, they brought a trailer load of brooms with APC on it. Wow. And distributed a whole trailer load and distributed the entire thing. And everybody just had brooms here, there, all over, running on the streets. You need to see the atmosphere on the streets since yesterday has been just electric. Wow. You know, so on the streets, the jubilation is with, you know, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, we pray people don't die in, in, in Kano. The yeah. minute I came into town, my friend who picked me up, he's a guy in ENDS, he's one of the prolific guys from Borno, from Borno in ENDS. He, when he came to pick me, he, he, had, he had the flag, the Nigerian flag on his car. Yeah. And he told me that the minute President Buhari won, he bought that flag. I bought a flag too. I took a flag to the event. I was one of the people waving. And, now, I've never bought a Nigerian flag in my life. <laughs> but they said the flags... They are selling so much because for the first time in some of our, it's been 30 years we've been under this whole Babangida to his cousin Ab Abdul Salam to Obasanjo to Jonathan. This has been 30 years, you know, apart from a little stint of Yaradua inside. It's been 30 years of this where we have not been proud to be Nigerians. But for the first time, I, we are all waving the Nigerian flag. There's this sense of, I love my country. You know, and that's what we are having on the streets. And that's possibly what led to the stuff in Kaduna and stuff. The people on the streets finally feel power back and feel a part of Nigeria. Yes, you know, yes. I see it. Yes. Uh, Dr. Brema, thank you so much, so much for joining us. Um, I, I hope we see you in the studio when you come back. I, 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 I can't, I can't wait. Wait, wait, wait. But... Where are you going to from there now, from Abuja? Where will you go to? I, I'm going to touch Lagos. I had, an, I had an appointment in America. I may have to go back and come back for like three or four days. 
okay. then I'm going to Lagos. I have to go to Lagos, which is, you know, where I primarily am. Then I have to go to Ghana, too, because, you know, we are, uh, like, my dad is a chief of Yorubas in Ghana. Okay. okay. So I have to go to the royal, to the palace in Ghana and, you know, go, go to, I have to go to Ghana and see my parents and okay. all of that. Okay. So. I'm All gonna right. be doing a bit of traveling yeah. before I get back. Okay. When you come back, we would like to have you in the studio and then continue this conversation. Always a pleasure and congratulations. Sahara did this. And if you give me just one minute, I just have to mention this. This change would not have happened if Sahara didn't make this change. Sahara stood up. Sahara brought about this fact that we can fight. You cannot intimidate us and we can demand justice for the people. So Sahara initiated this since 2006. Oh. Otherwise, if Sahara hadn't started since 2006, and then we have a lot of other media that now do similar things and people, it's impossible and unlikely, except by the grace of God, this change will not happen. So this change is due to social media and the power to say, we, we, we can say no. Thank so you. big that ups to Sahara, big ups to independent media. Thank you so and much. Non-aligned media. Thank you so much, Dr. Perry Bremer, for joining us. You're welcome. My pleasure. When we come back, we are going to talk to uh, Lolua Konde, who is also in Abuja, to give us an update on what has been going on. Stay tuned.